king's kid, yes I'm a king's kid My father is the king over everything So I will sing this song cause I know that I belong to the king of the universe I'm a king's kid, yes I'm a king's kid My father is the king over everything So I will sing this song cause I know that I belong to the king of the universe So I will sing this song cause I know that I belong to the king of the universe Ah, g'day there kings kids, Arnie here from Arnie's Shack uh, have you ever made a promise before King's Kids? Uh, making a promise is when you make an assurance that something will definitely happen. Uh, today we are going to be looking at a promise that Jesus made to us. Uh, you can read about it in Luke chapter 2. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get on with it. Kids, it's great to have you back again to explore lessons from God's creation with me. Have you ever taken the time to marvel at the change that occurs in many plants between winter and spring? When the weather is cold, many plants go into a hibernation or a period of dormancy. This is because they do not have access to the resources they need to thrive. Things like water, long hours of sunlight and warm ground. All these plants, bulbs and seeds sit patiently in this dormant state through the cold weather, waiting for the signs and signals that tell them that the time is right and the moment they have been looking forward to has come. As the seasons change and the plants sense temperatures rising in the air and soil, they release a combination of chemicals called hormones. These hormones help tell the seeds and the plants to start producing different parts, like roots, stems and leaves. Sensational! What a glorious sight spring is when everything has listened and waited for the right timing. King's kids, just like the plants live in waiting for the right time to bloom, God gives us grace and hope to live with while we wait and the promise of eternal life to look forward to. We can trust that if we listen to his signs and signals, we will be ready to bloom when our time comes too. Now that's... Sensational! 
Hi there kids, it's Stephen here again and it's time for another story from the Bible. Baby Jesus was eight days old, so this was the day that Mary and Joseph were to take him to the temple in Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. This was what happened for all firstborn males as written in the law of Moses. They had to travel from Bethlehem where Jesus was born to Jerusalem where the temple was. In Jerusalem there was an elderly man called Simeon. Simeon loved God. He had studied the scriptures and the Holy Spirit had told him that he would not die until he had seen the Messiah. That day Simeon was in the temple. The Holy Spirit had told him to be there. So he was there, waiting, waiting and watching. Then he saw Mary, Joseph and baby Jesus. And when he saw them, he knew. He knew that this baby was no ordinary baby. This baby was the Son of God, the long-waited-for Messiah. Simeon, with his face beaming and his heart almost leaping out of his chest with excitement, approached Mary and Joseph and tenderly and gently took baby Jesus into his arms. He gazed down with wonder into the eyes of the tiny baby. Then he raised the baby up towards heaven and praised God saying, Now you can let your servant die in peace, for my eyes have seen your salvation. Simeon then blessed Mary and Joseph. Mary and Joseph stood in wonder that Simeon knew too, that this was the Son of God. Just then, an elderly lady called Anna approached them. She was a prophet of God, and she had been in the temple every day for many years, praying and hoping to see God's promised Messiah. When she saw baby Jesus, she knew too that this was the one that all of Israel had been waiting and hoping for. She too joined Simeon in praising God for baby Jesus. Baby Jesus, coming to this world, gives us all hope, all part of God's great rescue plan. As he had promised Adam and Eve back in the Garden of Eden, God fulfilled his promise. Now, all we need to do is believe in Jesus and accept his gift. Because of his gift, we too can look forward to eternal life. Anyway, kids, take care and we will see you all next time. Today's Bible verse comes from 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 16. Jesus Christ, by his grace, gave us eternal encouragement and good hope.
Hi everyone, my name is Nurse Betty. One of the things I love to do is to teach boys and girls how to stay healthy. Today, I'd like to talk with you about growing. Have you ever felt like you are really tall or short compared to others your age? The way we grow is a complex system fueled by a delicate combination of hormones, genetics and nutrition. As children grow, they often go through growth spurts, periods of time where their bodies are rapidly growing. Some signs that you may be going through a growth spurt are 1. You may be hungrier than usual. Remember to make sure the additional food you eat is healthy and nutritional, not just snacks and sweets. Two. You start growing out of clothing. Children's legs tend to grow before their bodies, so it is often pants that suddenly get too short. Three, you may want to sleep more than usual. Most of our growing happens while we sleep, so getting enough sleep is important. Four, you become a little clumsier. Rapid changes in height and limb length can cause your center of gravity to shift. So if you are a little more accident prone, don't worry, you will grow out of it. And number five, you start gaining more weight. This is normal in balance with a growing body. We all grow at different rates, so don't worry if you are not as tall as your friends. If you have not yet had a growth spurt or are waiting for your next one, maybe it is something to look forward to. God has a plan for each one of us, regardless of our height. King's Kids, remember that Jesus loves you. Take care of your body and take care of each other. The boy woke up and looked out his window. The darkness was running away from the dawn of a new day. He pulled on his warm clothes and padded quietly to the room where his grandmother was staying. Grandma, he whispered. It's time to go for our walk. Coming, said Grandma. I'm just putting on my coat. The boy and his grandmother walked towards the lake. They stood on the jetty. Look at the sky, said his grandmother. What do you see? I see colours, said the boy. They are more than colours, said the grandmother. They are a sign that the sun is waking up. And sure enough, as they looked, the sun beamed through the clouds. A new day had begun. The boy and his grandmother kept walking. Look, said grandmother. What is this? Bud, said the boy. They are more than buds. They are a sign that spring is coming. Soon the bare branches will be covered in blossoms. Ha, <sighs> said the boy. I like spring. I want spring to come soon. They kept walking. Look, said Grandmother. What is this? More blossoms, said the boy. Yes. But listen, the boy listened. Bees, said the boy. They are more than bees. They are a sign that spring is coming. Soon their hives will be full of honey. Ha, <sighs> said the boy. I like spring. I want spring to come soon. They turned the corner and kept walking. Look, said Grandmother, pointing up high. What is that? A bird, said the boy. Yes, but what's that in its beak? The boy looked. A piece of grass. It's more than a piece of grass, said his Grandmother. It is a sign that spring is coming. Soon the mother bird will finish her nest and lay her eggs in it. Oh, said the boy. I like spring. I want spring to come soon. They came to a grassy paddock. 
Look, what is that? said Grandmother. It's a lamb, whispered the boy. It's more than a lamb. It is a sign that spring is almost here, said his grandmother. All winter the lamb has been growing warm and safe inside its mother. <sighs> said the boy. I like spring. I want spring to come soon. The boy turned to his grandmother. Who decides when spring comes? He asked. Why? God does, said his grandmother. But he gives us signs, so we know it is nearly here. They paused for a moment. I am looking forward to spring, said his grandmother. But I am looking forward to something else even more. Do you know what that is? No. What is it? said the boy. I am looking forward to the second coming of Jesus, replied his grandmother. Only God knows when it will happen, but he gives us signs so we know when it is nearly here. Hmm, replied the boy thoughtfully. And you know what? continued his grandmother. I love Jesus. I want him to come soon. Hello there, Shane. How did you manage to finish weeding the front garden? Well, I was going to, uh, but then Andy asked me to go for a bike ride, and then I forgot. Sorry, Grandpa. I promise I'll do it tomorrow. Uh, so you promised then, Shane? Yes, I promise I will, Grandpa. Uh, you know what a promise is, don't you, Shane? Yes, of course. A promise is where you say you will do something and then you actually do it. Uh, that's right, Shane. A promise means that you actually do what you say you are going to do. Uh, so that it will definitely happen. It will definitely happen, Grandpa. Oh, I really do promise. Uh, you know, Shane, and we have been learning today about the promise that Jesus made to us. I know what you're talking about, Grandpa. Uh, Jesus has promised that he will come back to take us home to heaven. Uh, that's right, Shane. And because he made that promise, uh, it is something that really will happen. Oh, I am looking forward to that, Grandpa. Uh, me too. I'm also looking forward to you fulfilling your promise, Shane. Yep. First thing tomorrow morning, I'm going to weed that front garden, Grandpa. I made a promise, and so it will definitely happen. Hi, Kings Kids. My name is Millie. Do you know what hope is? Hope is what allows us to look forward to things, things that are better than what we might be experiencing now. Hope is a bit like a seed that knows it will turn into a beautiful flower someday. Today I'm going to show you how to make some bright egg carton flowers. The things you will need are some sticks or paper straws, paper, glue and paint. First, carefully cut your egg cartons into lots of four, like this. Now we need to paint our flower petals. Let's make them nice and bright. Make sure you do the front and back. You need to get your yellow pom pom and glue it into the middle of your flower. You could use a yellow pom pom or maybe cut out a piece of yellow cardboard and stick it on. You might want to put some on your pom pom because Pom-poms are hard to stick on. Get a stick, or if you want a paper straw. And for the stick, you need to paint it green. 
glue your stem onto the flowers. Once your flowers are made, you can decide where to put them. You might want to set them in a vase or glue them onto paper and put them in a picture frame. However you choose to display them, remember that God's grace is like a flower that is blooming in us. Because Jesus came to earth to save us, we can look forward to a forever life with him. Have fun making your own hope flowers. Bye! Hi, Kings kids. It's great to be logged back in. Hi, Shane. Hey, good day, Andy. How are you? Hi, I'm great. Today we have Rosie here with us again. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Shane. Hi, Andy. Hi, Kings kid. Hi, Rosie. Who's looking forward to another great Discovery Bible reading? I am. I am. Hey, Shane, can you please start with prayer? Yep, I can do that. Dear God, please guide us. Thank you. Oh, well, today's passage is found in 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 16. Oh, Rosie, can you please read first for us? Sure, mine's a long one. Our Lord Jesus Christ and God our Father loves us. By his grace, God gave us comfort that will last forever. The hope he gave us is good. May our Lord Jesus Christ and our God Father. Oh, wow. Thank you, Rosie. Shane, can you read from your grandma's Bible, please? Yeah, I sure can. It's a long one as well. Now our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God, even our Father, which hath loved us, hath given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace. Oh, I'll read it from my Bible now. Jesus Christ, by his grace, gave us eternal encouragement and good hope. Oh, yours was shorter. Oh, it sure was. Rosie, what does this verse mean to you? I had a bad day at school today and I came home and my mum made me feel really better. Oh, Rosie, that's no good that you had a bad day at school. But do you know what God does for us? What? He works through other people to comfort us. You know, God loves us so much and he will never let us down. My God never lets me down and he's given us the uh, gift of eternal life and I can't wait for that. Uh, hey Andy, do you want to say a uh, prayer before we go? Oh yeah, let's talk to our great God. Dear God, thank you for your word. Help us to follow you and to remember that you always love us. Amen. 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 We'll see you, Kings Kids. See you, Rosie. See you, Andy. Bye, Shane. Bye, Andy. Bye, Kings Kids. Bye. This world offers so many things you can do So many choices for me and for you But none of them compare to where we're going to When we're in heaven with our God It's gonna be, it's gonna be the greatest celebration So much better than your highest expectations Gonna be, it's gonna be the greatest celebration And we'll be there praising the Lord So stop what you're doing and hear what I say Tell Jesus you'll be there, tell him today He wants you in heaven and it's gonna be great Cause we're gonna be there without God It's gonna be, it's gonna be the greatest celebration 
so much better than your highest expectations gonna be it's gonna be the greatest celebration that will be there praising the lord it's gonna be it's gonna be the greatest celebration so much better than your highest expectations gonna be it's gonna be the greatest celebration that will be there praising the lord it's gonna be it's gonna be the greatest celebration so much better than your highest expectations gonna be it's gonna be the greatest celebration that will be Praising the Lord, it's gonna be, it's gonna be the greatest celebration. So much better than the highest expectations gonna be. It's gonna be the greatest celebration, and we'll be there praising the Lord. Our baby Jesus coming to this world is what gives us all hope. Uh, this was all a part of God's great rescue plan. Uh, the plan he had promised Adam and Eve uh, back in the Garden of Eden. Uh, God always fulfills his promises. Uh, so all we need to do is to believe in Jesus and accept his gift. Uh, it is because of his gift, because of his promise, uh, that uh, we too can look forward to eternal life. Uh, that is just the best news. Uh, we can look forward to uh, what the future holds for us uh, because of Jesus' promise. And you can be assured uh, that he always keeps his promises. Uh, anyway, King's Kids, uh, it's time to go now. I will look forward to catching up with all of you again next time. Uh, so take care, stay safe, and God bless. I'm a king's kid, yes I'm a king's kid, my father is